The last thing you want is to have billions of dollars running around the country outside our electronic banking system. People are going to run their business in cash and then walk around in the middle of the night with uh, their money in a wheelbarrow? This is just absurd. Oregon U.S. Senators Jeff Merkley and Ron Wyden agree something has to be done for Oregon's marijuana business owners. Since cannabis is still illegal federally, dispensary owners are unable to get a home loan or even bank in general. So we should absolutely enable the, the banking system to provide support, and that includes providing mortgages to people who work in the industry. Right now, there aren't any options in Oregon. Senator Wyden says he thinks it's a systemic problem within the federal government. So many of the politicians in Washington, D.C. say, I believe in the Tenth Amendment, I believe in states' rights, but they really only believe in states' rights if they think the state is right. Senator Wyden says he wants to pass a bipartisan bill to fix the problem. Meanwhile, his counterpart, Senator Merkley, says he's already been working on legislation. I have actually passed in the Appropriations Committee twice a bill that would enable the banks to provide banking services. In addition to the bill, Senator Merkley also wants to take marijuana off the Schedule 1 list. Schedule 1 is a classification from the Drug Enforcement Administration which lists marijuana alongside heroin and LSD. Schedule 1 drugs have the highest potential for abuse and have no accepted medical use, according to the DEA. One another reason we need to get it off Schedule 1 is so we can do research on and actually understand the medicinal applications. If marijuana is removed from the list, Senator Merkley believes the government would be more on board with the states. It's something Senator Wyden would also like to see. When a state makes the judgment that this kind of activity, uh, recreational marijuana, should be legal according to state laws, the federal government should not be able to cut off that right by saying, well, you can't use the banking system, which is regulated federally. In Southern Oregon, Elizabeth Ruiz, NBC5 News.